he comes, here he comes, then the trumpets, then the drums, here he comes. Hop along, Cassidy, here he Charlie and Pete, you close in from the left. Check Red, you close in from the right. That's the end of Lucky Jenkins. He must have been pretty desperate to try it. Well, he couldn't afford to get caught. Twenty thousand dollars on him. Chances are he'll wash ashore further down. But it'll take two men to go down the gorge and watch for him. May have to drag the river. Happy, I'm glad to see you. Did you hear about Lucky? What do you mean? Bank was robbed last night and watchman's killed. They're, they're accusing Lucky. Sheriff and his posse right after him right now. Well, why should they accuse him? Oh, that feller Taggart claims he see him come out of the bank right after the explosion. Well, did uh, Lucky run away? Yeah, and they left his knife right in the bank. You know the one I gave him his initials on it? 
Oh, well, anybody could have planted that there. Do you think so, Hoppy? Yeah, but that running away makes it look kind of bad. Yeah, you know, they claim there's over $20,000 took. Wendy, there hasn't been over $5,000 in that bank since Crawford started it. Oh, yes, it was. The payroll for the Blanchard mine was there. And Lucky was in the bank when he come in. Well, what if he was? I told him to meet me here today. He just went in there to deposit his wages. That boy ain't any more to blame than I am. Uh, you're darn right he ain't. I think you and me are going to have to get a good lawyer to prove it, though. Mm, you bet your life we will. But don't get that Cal Howard. I wouldn't trust him any further you can throw a bull by the horns. Now, don't you worry. I said a good lawyer. Heard from Washington, eh? Congressman says the irrigation bill will pass in a few days. I see he asked if we... If we got the Glen Randall Ranch. That's what we've got to get, Howard. It's the key to the watershed. <laughs> I suppose a banker just has to worry about something. No, but... We're going to clean up a fortune when we sell these ranches. I'm going to marry the Randall Ranch. Celebration down there tonight to announce Agnes' engagement to me. Well, that's good news. Sure. There's always some way to make a deal. Look at the Norris Ranch. I told you I'd get that for a song, and I did. Which reminds me. You haven't paid your share of that deal yet. Worrying again, are you? No. But the robbery left me short of cash. And Blanchett will be in here any minute and ask for his payroll money. Well, he'll just have to wait. I had to send away, sell some securities. I'll bring you the cash in the morning. All right. You say you was out in front of the street right after the explosion, huh? Yeah. Did you uh, see anybody run out of the bank? No. Thanks. Sheriff, did you find any place of Lucky? Well, I hate to tell you, Hoppy. I'm afraid he must have drowned. Drowned? How? Well, we followed him out to Black Canyon, jumped his horse off the cliff out there. Never came to the service after he hit the water. All right, just fine. Saves the county the price of a trial and a new rope. Agnes, why you look pretty this evening. Thank you, Sheriff. Good evening, Mr. Randall, Mr. Howard. You're sure having a nice party tonight, Miss Agnes. And don't forget you have a dance with me. Oh, I won't forget. No, thanks. <laughs> Mr. Randall, I'm afraid Agnes is going to leave a trail of broken hearts when I take her away from the ranch. Well, Agnes was raised here, and, well, we're all going to miss her. Well, this is an announcement party, not a funeral. <laughs> Get your pointers for a quadrille. Come on, let's dance. Uh, later, Agnes. I see your foreman over there. I want a word with him. Well, you'll have to teach him some social graces. Most cowhands have better manners. 
Well, this must be a very happy evening for you. Why not? The prettiest as well as the richest girl in the county? Yeah, and used to having her own way. Good evening, Wendy. Hey, that right pretty dress you got on. Do you like it? Yeah. You look awfully nice yourself. It's pretty slick, isn't it? Huh? Mm hmm. Smell that. Oh, Florida water. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Miss Hanson, I, I sprained my ankle today, and I'm afraid I can't make it. Oh, come on. Come no, on. no, no, I ain't well. I oh, now, please, ju just one dance. Come on. Good evening, Mr. Randall. Hello there. Good evening, Miss Agnes. Good evening. Well, uh, where's the lucky man? Oh, he's around. Say, I, uh, I came out to see Wendy. Oh, Wendy, come on. It won't hurt you. Well, I think he's going to be pretty glad to see you. Mrs. Anson's very determined. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and after the dance is over, I'll take you over to the bunkhouse and give you a nice hot mustard foot bath. Yeah, I don't want no mustard foot. Hoppy. What's the matter? Come here, I want to talk to you. What'd you find out, Hoppy? Well, I thought I'd better be the one to tell you. Lucky's. He, he's dead? He leaped into the river from the top of Black Canyon. Did they... Did you find his body? No. Must have hit a rock. Well, took a lot of nerve to try. Boy, I didn't know what fear was. Hmm. Why, well, practically bring him up, Hoppy. Just like a son to me. Wendy. We thought you was killed. Dad, burned it, Lucky. Shh. Sit down. What happened? How'd you get here? Didn't I tell you you'd make it? Why, you deceiving young brunk. Playing jokes on us, huh? I don't want to have no more to do with you. Treating us this way. But, Wendy, Lucky's alive. That's all that matters. But I'm not safe, Hoppy. That's why I've come, to ask you to hide me. Well, well you're darn tootin' I will. I like to see somebody find you. Come on, tell us about what happened in town. Yeah. I was going up the street and I saw a light in the bank, so I thought I'd have a look. There was an explosion. A couple of men ran out. Then more followed. One of them pointed at me and says, there he is. There's a man who did it. Well, I guess I lost my head when they started shooting. Jumped on my horse and rode out of town. I couldn't have come back, Hoppy, that it lynched me. But they found your knife on the bank. Well, I don't know how it got there. I lost it the last time I was in town. Hoppy, you don't think... Oh, certainly not, Lucky. Neither does Wendy. Oh, I like to see the galoot say you had anything to do with it. But we got to hide him out till we find out who done this. I'll take him out to East Line House. Good. And you stay there. 
I'll go back into town and see if I can get this thing straightened out. You and Lucky better get out of here while the folks is inside. All right. Are you going down to the corral and wait for Wendy? May I have, 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 Ms. Alice, have, may I have, 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 I have this dance, Miss Agnes? Why not? May I, may I, may I have, 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 have a dinner next? Would you like this dance, Evelyn? I'd be delighted. I'll be darned. is pretty. If she was my girl, I'd want to be dancing with her myself. Well, Wendy seems to be doing all right. <laughs> news to me that Cassidy was invited to my engagement party. <laughs> well, what do you mean, Howard? Cassidy's no friend of ours. Well, he's no friend of mine. Hey, I'm afraid you're getting jealous, Cal. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Snodgrass. Hello. Is the music divine? A little uh, punch, Cal. No. Just one little. There, now sit by down there and rest. And put your little tootsies right up there. Rest up there, you are. Oh, you darling. See, I know. I'll get you some ice cream and cake. That's it. Oh, that was fine. Thank you very much. May I uh, get you a drink or a sandwich? I'd rather dance than eat. I'm afraid we're out of luck. Looks like the band would rather eat than play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cal, do you know Mr. Yes. Mac Don't feel safe without your guns even at a party, eh? Well, I'll tell you. I thought it was going to be a costume party, so I come dressed as a bad man. Well, bad men whether they're bandits or bank robbers, are not wanted here. Why, Cal! Oh, oh, excuse me, Mr. Howard. Come with me. I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Cassidy. Oh, that's all right. I... Mr. Cassidy. Good morning, Miss Agnes. I thought you went home last night. Oh, no. Your party was so nice and it got kind of late, so I decided to bunk down with the boys. <laughs> Mr. Cassidy. I... Well... I hope you'll excuse Mr. Howard's actions of last night. Oh, now, don't you worry none about that. I'd clean forgot about it. Oh, thanks. Going to town? Are you? Yes. So am I. Uh, would you like company? Would you? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was 
fun, wasn't it? Certainly was. You know, your horse doesn't tire easily. No, he's a pretty sturdy old boy. He looks as if he came from good stock. I don't know much about his past. Oh. You wouldn't consider selling him, would you? Oh, no. Would you like to ride him sometime? Oh, I'd love to. I hope we can make it soon. Father and I would enjoy having you call any time. Thanks. I want to thank you again for the good time I had at your party last night. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. And wasn't Windy funny? <laughs> Hey, we're just about out of town. Where are you going? There. Where are you going? There. Goodbye. Goodbye. Cal, how do you feel after our you great day? listen to me. No girl I'm going to marry can be seen with Hopalon Cassidy. Oh, but I just rode into town with him. And I just said I didn't want you seen with him. Cal, let's not argue here. It's embarrassing. I don't care if it is. But I told you there was absolutely... You're not telling me anything. I'm telling you I don't want you seen with Cassidy, and I mean just that. We've had too many of these silly arguments. Agnes. Well, marrying into the Randall Ranch isn't going to be as easy as you thought. Hmm? Oh, that. Yeah, it's just a spat. I'll see you tonight. She'll get over it. That young lady appears to have a mind of her own. If you mean she's likely to be hard to manage, I'll take care of that. I got another plan. Well, one way or the other, it's up to you to deliver the Randall Ranch. That's exactly what I propose to do. Don't you hold a note of Glen Randall's that'll be due in a few days? Yes, but it has nothing to do with the ranch. Barely a mortgage on some cattle. I don't want that note renewed. Randall's been doing business with me for years. I can't very well turn him down. You want his ranch, don't you? Randall is counting on an extension of that note. You've got to turn him down. You've got a lot of money invested in this project. Tell him you're short of cash. You count of the robbery. The man I sent over to the county seat just came back. This is my share of the Norris property. But I'm not going to send good money after bad. All right, I'll tell Randall I can't renew the note. Now you're talking. <laughs> I should make you give me a receipt. And I should have had you show me a marriage certificate. Don't you worry about that. Hello, Mr. Cassidy. How are you, Mr. Crawford? Could I have a couple of minutes of your time? Sure, come in and sit down. Thanks. What's on your mind? Well, it's about this bank holdup. Did uh, anyone outside the bank know that Blanchard payroll was in the safe? I don't think so. You see, it was only recently the Blanchard mine was thoroughly financed and operating in a large way. In fact, it's only the second payroll we've handled. Is there anybody here in town uh, connected with that mine in any way? Yes, I believe uh, Howard has a little stock. Howard? Yes, he took the stock for incorporating the company and acting as Blanchard's attorney. Then uh, he probably knew the money was in the safe. Probably. Have you had any large deposits here lately? That is, I mean, you don't uh, generally carry large amounts of cash here, do you? No. Why do you ask? Uh, it's on account of Lucky. I'm just doing a little checking up. Well, if you find out anything, let me know. All right. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Hey, 
Hey, Sheriff. You got any news? No, I haven't. We just got back from Black Canyon. Dragged the river clean down to the dam, never got any trace of Lucky at all. Are you sure you're after the right man? Well, Taggart said he saw him coming out of the bank right after the explosion. He even took a shot at him. He did. Say, ain't Taggart the fellow you arrested a few years ago for cattle rustling up near Los Altos? Yeah. Howard got him off of that. He's reformed now. Yeah? There was a killing in connection with that case, too, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. One of my deputies got ambushed up there. If you don't mind, I think I'll do a little investigating around here. Well, that's fine with me, Hoppy. This is the quietest place I ever saw. Yeah, that's the reason I brought you here. You want to hide out, don't you? <laughs> Ain't nobody going to see you here. Well, that suits me. Stuffy in here. We ain't been out here for a couple of months. Am I hungry? I could eat a half-baked wolf right now. Well, go ahead and pick some. I'm really might hungry myself. What, me cook? I'm a guest here. Guest? Why, you young whippersnapper. Here I am, practically saving your life. Well, anyway, if I cook, there wouldn't be any whiskers in the stew. What's the matter with my whiskers? Oh, nothing. I suppose it's because of your whiskers you never learned to cook. Oh, is that so? Go on, get a bucket of water. I'll show you whether I can cook or not. <laughs> Best dad burn chuck wagon cook in the whole state. Tell me I can't cook. Hey, I just saw a couple of fellows going around with East Linehouse. Uh, who was it? That old windbag? Yeah, and another fella. Was he riding a white horse? No, there wasn't no white horse. All right. Go on back. And don't let anybody come near Lost Canyon. We're going to start Randall's cattle through that draw near his east line. I guess I can scare him off, all right. show up later. I'm not worrying about Cal Howard, Dad. I've broken our engagement. He was entirely too bossy for me. Oh, I know you understand, Dad. You always have. Ever since I was a little tough. Well, I've, I've tried to, honey. there, Cassidy. Good evening, Mr. Randall. Good evening, Miss Agnes. Well, this is a pleasure. You know, we were we were just talking about you at dinner. Is that so? We lost our foreman today. And we couldn't think of anybody better to take his place than you. Well, that's mighty nice, but uh, what happened to Taggart? I don't know. He, uh, he left this morning without saying anything. Well, I... Uh, I sure would like to have this job, but I've got a few private matters to take care of first. Oh, I think Dad could get along without you for a couple of days. Don't you think so, Dad? <laughs> I think so. What about Tuesday? Tuesday? Uh, that's fine. Say, uh, Mr. Randall, I came over to ask you a few personal questions, if you don't mind. Why, not at all. Has anyone made you an offer on your ranch lately? Well, yes. Yes, a uh, syndicate. So Howard told me. 
Why do you ask? Well, I understood that Crawford and Howard were buying up some property around here, and I wonder if they'd made an offer on yours. Crawford and Howard? What would Howard be wanting with a ranch? <laughs> I didn't know Cal Howard was, was rich enough to be investing in ranches. <laughs> I didn't think so myself. Did he give any special reason why the syndicate wanted this property? No. No, the ranch has always paid good money. It never occurred to me there could be any other reason. Well, I suppose you wonder why I'm asking all these silly questions, but I can explain later, if you don't mind. Not at all. Well, then I'll come to work Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, don't go. Why don't you stay and have some coffee? Say, that's a mighty good idea. Oh, I'd like that. <laughs> Hoppy. Did he get you, Wendy? No, my horse stumbled. A lazy old jughead. <laughs> what do you suppose he was shooting at you for? I don't know. I can't figure it out. What are you doing here? I'm just on the way over to the line shack to have a talk with you and Lucky. Eh? Yeah. Say, I got some news for you. Wait. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be your new foreman. Yeah? Hot dog. Say, what happened to Tiger? He quit. <laughs> Good riddance to bad rubbish, if you ask me. <laughs> you like him, huh? Oh, well, yeah. Just like everybody else around here likes him. Except lawyer Howard. Howard? Y you see, this Tiger used to be a pretty tough hombre. And Howard got him out of a tight spot. What kind of a tight spot? Well... There was talk of murder. Just what I thought. Oh, Mr. Randall. Yes? I'm glad to see you, Cassidy. I'm afraid I'm going to be needing you sooner than I expected. Well, I'm taking care of a little business here in town right now, but I can come out in the morning. Well, that'll be all right. I've got to round up those last pedigree cattle I bought. Say, uh, Mr. Randall, on account of a friend of mine, I've been doing a little checking up on this bank robbery. Do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Why, not at all. I understand that you borrowed the money from Crawford to pay for them cattle. Yes, and he, he refused to renew my note when he knows I can't possibly raise the money to pay him by tomorrow. It's the first time he's ever refused me. Did he, uh, did he suggest putting a mortgage on your ranch? No. No, he said he had to have the cash. Well, I, I guess I lost my temper. I told him I couldn't possibly raise the money and that if he wanted the cattle, he'd have to send the sheriff after them. 
Where are the cattle? Principally down near the east line. Well, I'll be over at your ranch the first thing in the morning. Well, I'd certainly appreciate that, Cassidy. Randall Ranch. What business of yours is it? I happen to be Mr. Randall's new foreman. Well, you won't be long if I get the ranch. But I'm going to see to it that you don't get it. Say, listen to me. I happen to be the legal representative for an Eastern Syndicate, and it's none of your business who wants the Randall Ranch. But I'm going to make it some of my business. There are a lot of folks around here who'd like to know where you get your part of the money to pay for them ranches. I wouldn't lose any sleep over that if I were you. I haven't. But when I need money, I go to the bank to get it. In the daytime. It was too bad your pal Lucky Jenkins didn't follow your example. Lucky didn't rob that bank. He didn't need the money. Still trying to prove Lucky was an angel with wings on, eh? I bet you wish he did have wings. But he's very much alive. And ready to identify the men that blew that safe. Why don't you have the sheriff arrest them? While he's about it, I ought to have him arrest you too. An accessory after the fact. It's the accessory before the fact I'm after. And you were the only man in town that knew that Blanchard mine payroll was in the bank. You're wasting your time. I spent that night at the mine. A smart lawyer like you would have an alibi. I'm afraid trying to connect me with a bank robbery is going to prove a pretty difficult job, Mr. Cassidy. But connecting you with Taggart ain't going to be so difficult. And he's the man that claims he saw Lucky in the bank. Taggart would have swung before this if it hadn't been for you. Hey, I'm not interested in your theories. You're wasting my time. Get out. I'll get out when I've got a full confession from you. Even if I have to wring your neck to get it. I wouldn't try it if I was you. You saw this man about to attack me. I sure did. You heard his threats? Yep. You know, being a detective isn't the healthiest job in the world. I'd advise you to give it up. You're getting away with a whole skin this time. But don't cross my path again. Now get out. When you get ready to cut my trail, you'll find me at the Randall Ranch. What did he mean by that? That was a threat to let us know he'd be ready for us when we go after him. When we go after him? We just missed the best chance we'd ever have. He couldn't take a chance here. But he's got to be stopped. What does he know? Lucky Jenkins is alive. Cassidy knows he wasn't in that bank. And he knows you were. Well, you got the money. I didn't. And you promised to protect me. I can take care of Jenkins and I can take care of a jury. But Cassidy's dynamite. Yeah? Well, I can take care of him. And I'm starting right now. Wait, you better get Joe. When you attend to Cassidy, get those blooded cattle of Randall's over into Lost Canyon. We've already got them on the move. All right, I want them off the Randall Ranch by noon tomorrow. Now get moving.
right, boss? Yeah. The boys are getting the cattle through without a hitch. Let's get going. How is Lucky? Oh, he's getting pretty lonesome out there. There's no particular rush, Cassidy, but I think you'd better get the boys together and start rounding up those cattle. Well, I'm just waiting for Miss Agnes to come back with my horse. <laughs> She's got to ride every new horse that comes on the place. What are you doing out of that lion house? You know it ain't safe till I get you squared away. Well, a gang of rustlers are driving off a bunch of Mr. Randall's cattle down on the east line. Which herd is it? Well, Wendy says it's a pedigree stock. Where is Wendy? He's up on the ledge keeping a lookout. Uh, we'll soon put a stop to this. Circle the ranch and tell all the boys to get over to the east border. Hurry it up. I've got to have a horse. Here, you take mine. I'll saddle another and follow you. as quick as you can. Hey, Joe, there comes Cassidy now. I'd know that white horse of his anywhere. This is the chance I've been waiting for. be coming up right over there pretty soon. Pretty long shot, ain't it? Well, not too long, but not close enough for Cassidy to use any six-gun. You don't take any chances, do you? Not with him. Well, if you don't get him, I won't. I ain't gonna miss. You got him. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. That's my horse, Art. Somebody's took a shot at Miss Agnes. Go after him. Hurt bad, Miss Agnes? No, I guess it could be worse. We better have a look at it. Oh, that's not bad. It's just a scratch. Why should anyone be shooting at me? They probably thought it was me. You? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have let you ride that white horse. But why? We'll talk about that later. You can ride back to the house alone, all right? Oh, yes. You better get back and take care of that wound. All right. You ride this horse home. I'm sorry I can't go along with you, but there's some rustling over on the east line. I can make it all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Listen, Crawford, I've got some good news for you. Yes? We've got Randall over a barrel now. What's happened? He's rustling those cattle he's got mortgaged to you. Why, he knows he can't get away with that. Doesn't stop him from trying. I don't say he's trying to steal them. He'll hide them to prevent you foreclosing on them. He was pretty angry when I refused to renew his note. I can put him in the penitentiary for hiding those cattle. Sure you can, but you won't. You want to buy his ranch, don't you? Well, now he can't refuse you. Say... We have got Randall over a barrel, haven't we, eh?
Hoppy, I'm sure glad you got here. Where'd they drive them cattle? Down in the Lost Canyon. Rustler's Valley, they used to call it. Well, I've sent Lucky to bring all the cowboys. You and I wait here for them, and I'll go on. We'll get there as soon as we can. As you get these cattle hit, bring the boys back to the cabin. I told Hoppy we'd follow him. Come on. Hour, it'll take a magician to find those cattle. Are you sure we can get away with this? I haven't made a mistake yet, have I? No, I guess not. But it'd go pretty hard with me if you did. Rustling cattle and holding up banks is pretty serious. It's not as serious as murder, and I got you out of that, didn't I? You'll never forget that, do you? Well, it wouldn't be healthy for you to forget it. He's going to Wrestler's Valley. I told him we follow him. All right, let's get going. No matter what happens, you stick to your story. Randall told you to drive those cattle off and hide them. That's all you know. I guess you know what you're doing. But it's going to be pretty hard to convince anybody around here that Randall had rustled his own cattle. move. Your conversation was very interesting, but I didn't expect you to be sitting in on this game, Howard. Come on, get him up.
If you make a move, I'll drill both of you. Well, how did you get here so quick? I took the shortcut down through the gully and went into Howard. Yeah, well, Cassie won't bite us anymore, eh, Taggart? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what I'm talking about? Well, the job you sent us out to do. We spotted him a mile away on that white horse of his. Taggart knocked him off 900 yards. Swell shot, Taggart. Shut up! Well, I guess I heard all I need. Well, too bad your boys bungled your job. Now you are in a tough spot. I didn't have anything to do with this. That's a Randall outfit. We better head for the cabin. The boys are back. Yeah. But maybe the Randall outfit will be too much for us. Sheriff now, Cassidy. My men will be here any minute. Yeah. You sent a decoy this morning, but you'll never get out of this. I don't think I'd send this Agnes out as a decoy. Agnes? Yeah, but it was only a scratch. Your bad man there don't take any chances. He must have shot him about a half a mile away. Make a break for the cabin in a minute. Once we get him in that cabin, we'll sure fix him. I got an idea, Winnie. Come on, follow me. Oh, here it comes. Get 
Take him up. Hey, what's this idea of yours? Come on, you'll find out. Oh, I ain't no mountain goat. Get over on the other side. Drop them guns on the table and don't move. Hey, Wendy, it'll be easy from here. What are you talking about? What'll be easy? Look! my turn. Never mind, boys. I'll take care of this. Now you go on over to that door and show yourself. And call your men off or I'll drill you full of holes. All right, get out. Good idea, Lucky. Come on. Let me have your gun. Keep your boys here and watch that door. <laughs> Come on, get on your feet. Have you seen Cassidy anywhere? He's inside. Inside? Jump in Jupiter. Kind of busted things up a little, didn't we? Yeah, and you'd have saved us a lot of trouble if you'd have busted up a little bit more. <laughs> get the gun. Come on, get out of here. Come on. Cover him. All right, boys, head him for town. Turn him over to the sheriff. Go on. Cassidy, that's mighty good work. We got enough on that gang to send them the pen for the rest of their lives. <laughs> you, you were in a tough spot, Cassidy. Well, I should say I was in a tough spot. <laughs> And if you ever find yourself in the same position, just send for Lucky and Windy and give them a big pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs>